Well done, let's keep going. Oh yeah, that one thing, breathing. Yeah, you gotta do the breathing. Inhale, exhale on the strike. So the beginning of any journey is the best time to learn. So let's get some learning and let's get into it. Start in your left combat stance. Bend your knees, put the controllers up high into boxing guard and elbows into your ribs. We're gonna be starting with the slow left jab. Here comes the target. Three more. Excellent. There's only two more now. Full range. Soft elbow. One more. Okay. See the other target coming? It's a jab and a cross. Let's go. Left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. We want to hit them right down the middle. Let's release the shoulder, the hip, and the back heel on the cross. All right. Now let's maximize speed. It's a jab, cross, jab, and freeze. Go. Left, right, left, hold. Repeat that one. Boom, boom, boom. Did you get it? Oh yeah, yeah, you got it. Because look at your score, your score's already going up. And we want to maintain that score lifting up by hitting every single target. Here's something you can try. Try and hit the middle of the target with a little bit more force. Yeah, that should feel really great. New move, left uppercut and hold. Now the right, back to the left. Short range, vertical strike. We want now the controller to come up through the center line of the chest. Let's pick up the pace. Let's go. One left, one right. Big rotation to the shoulders, forward. Some movement in the hips, some movement in the feet. Yeah, unwind. It feels good. Okay, catch your breath. We're gonna do it all again, but with the right foot forward. Let's go. Lead arm, lead jab, right side, hit it. And again. Ready? Now. Bang. You're gonna wait, 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 and then hit it right in the middle. Roll that knuckle over the top, squeeze the controller. We're gonna go jab and cross, right and left. Jab, cross, right, left. I see your shoulders dancing, baby. Let those shoulders roll, let's get the core in. We're gonna hit the triple shot. Right, left, right, bang, three, two, one, go. Nice, and again. We say sit on the punch, that means bend your knees. Now wrap your hip around that cross. Feels good, doesn't it? Hip release brings power. Right in the middle of the target. That's where you wanna hit it. One more, just like that, let's go. Okay, vertical punch, uppercut, right arm, bam. Left arm, right arm, stick with that tempo. Rolling the shoulders, picking up the tempo, here it comes. A little quicker, go. Rolling, rolling, driving, bend your knees. Start to get in the swing of things. Four more, four, three, two, one. Awesome, so let's move on. We've got a wide front stance. Let's hit a squat and then a left uppercut. So we go down, left, and then on the right. Yeah. Fairly quick squats, right? So try and get your butt down in line with the back of the knee. Chest up, abs brace. Hello, legs. Hello, glutes. Oh, my quads. I love the uppercut because it makes us stand up really tall, right? Now we're going to stay down. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Wait, wait, wait. And then stand up slow. That's what we call a finisher. How was that? 
Good? I said just shake your legs, shake your shoulders. Very, very cool. Alright, starting combat stance with the boxing guard. Left jab. Oh yeah! That target came out of nowhere! Come on, hit the jab! Hit the target! So soft elbow, especially at the peak of the move. We want to move with the control. Now we're going to hit one left jab, one left slip. Slip out the way, go. So the slip is you want to move off to over clock. Yeah. So as that wall comes towards you, get out of the way. So you're utilizing the muscles of your abdominals, you're softening the knees in your stance, and you're staying really aware. All right, here it comes. Jab and cross four times, left and right. Four, three. Now, jab and slip twice. Once, twice. Excellent, do that again. Really try and release your heel, especially when you throw the cross. You got that? Now release the heel. There. Release the heel. There. Awesome. Tuck your chin in as you slip. Hello, abdominals. Oh, man, that wall was so close there. All right, new move. We're going to hit squats. Step wide. Turn your toes out. Drop your butt down in line on the knees. And then stand up slowly. Drop. Hold at the bottom. We're isolating the quads and the glutes. Now we're going to hit the squat a little bit faster. We go down and up. So lift your chest. Out to brace. Hips are square. Got a new move for you. Squat down. Stand up and hold. Open your arms out to the sides. In guard. Drop down. Stand up. Open out. So it's like you're creating the letter T. It's a chest stretch. So we're going to do that with no pause. We go down and up, seven more. See how quick it is? Try and hit that shape. So you want to squeeze your shoulder blades and spread your wings. I'm warming up the shoulders, baby. And hold. Great. The target's going to change. We're going to hit a left power hook. Go. Boom. Now your right side. Now your left side. Right. Speed. 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 Elbows are bent, shoulders are engaged, you've got big rotation through your abdominals, through your hips, through your feet, uppercut, change the target, up, up, whoa, it's coming at us, heart rate's lifting up now, it's a vertical strike, forearm is in line with the centre of the chest, come up and under, awesome, last two and hold, it's right jab, let's get it, get it, go, boom, we're on the other side, no more surprises, could be your best side. If you're a right-hander, like me, this is your best side. Two more. We're gonna hit that jab and that slow slip to the outside. Boom, bend your knees, get out of the way. But how? Try to think about using your core like a boxer would. Slip out of the way, minimal movement, maximum range. All right, two more. You have what it takes. Full combo. Jab cross, slow, right, left, four. Now hit that jab and slip. Make it dynamic. Oi. Yep. So visualize something coming towards you, see it? And then get out of the way as quick as you can and come back ready to counter strike. Hit those targets. We do use the legs. Yeah, of course you use the legs. But think about it coming from the core. Last one. Nice work. All right. Front stand. Toes out, knees out, brace your abs. Drop the squat and hold. Butt right down by the knees and then drive up. Two more. Slow squeeze to the top through the glutes. And speed it up for four. Two more. Here comes the big chest stretch. Down up, open the hands. Oh, that feels good. Try this. Squeeze between your shoulder blades as you extend the arms. We're going to do eight reps. Better. Let's go. Eight. I love this bit. Four more. Three. All right. Hold up. Right. Boxing guard, hands up. You see it coming? You're going to hit it with the right hook. Get it. Go. Left hook, so you can keep running right hook. I don't get a shit We're gonna spit it up. Bang, bang, bang. Let's go. The hook. One of the biggest power moves you're gonna see. And it comes when you really turn your hip into the hook. Try that, turn it in. That's it, side to side. Release the heel. New target, uppercut. Go, go, go. 
Are you bending your knees? Really getting those shoulders rolling. I know, uppercuts are tricky. Keep doing them, you'll get it. Five, four, three, two, one. This workout is all about putting your body in the right position to load before you explode. Watch out for them random targets. I ain't kidding either. This has got a groovy beat. We're gonna start with a little side slip. You're gonna go to your left. Stop playing, move it. Uh, yeah. yeah, I like to dance in the shadow as well. Right. I think you know which way you gotta slip, otherwise you're gonna get hit. Left, left jab, slip right. Right jab, slip left, slip right. Yep, it got faster. Left jab, right jab, slip and move. This is how we move around the ring. You gotta be able to move and strike. Okay, jab, power. So load body, think about grounding your feet to the floor, rolling your shoulder, Turn in the body. It's getting faster. It's about to get even faster. Unload. Go. Shoulder rolling. Switching the core arm. You got it. You feel confident? A little swag. A little shoulder swag. All right. Little combo. Three, two, one. Slip and move. Squat down. And coming. Four jabs, four, three, two, slip to the left. Now get down, get under. Four jabs, load in, shoulders, core, full body weight. So the reason we're moving around is, you'll see when a boxer's in the ring, they learn to move their feet in the right position to be able to load power in the punch. Don't let me distract you, you got work to do. All right, uppercut. Load the shoulder. Roll your shoulder forward, and then bring the punching shoulder forward. Like a figure of eight. Big hook. Now turn your hip, and imagine you're hitting your hip into the target. Release the heel. All right, uppercut, so quicker. Lift, right, left, big right hook. Slip left, squat down, keep blowing. No hating, uppercut, left, right. Big right hook, slip left. If you want to make those M-O-V-E-S, you got to load the shoulders. Yep, it's slow. Yes, you've got time. Go big with your movement. Go big in the range. Now get into the legs. Squeeze your glutes as you push out of the squat. Dip and dive. Getting down. Tucking under. Standing up. Go. Oh, you're good at this now. Oi, big one. <laughs> you look like you're having a good time there. You're boogieing. So because it's slow, let's just focus on power. Come on. Not much that you really need to learn now, other than just perfecting your movement, enjoying it, cruising with it. See that? Rhythm's already changed, and you know it's about to get faster. We've been here before. Come on. Tuck your chin down a little bit. Drive the power from the shoulders. Yep, hello shoulders. Yeah, you're still getting a workout. You just forgot because you're having such a good time, right? All right, we're gonna mix it up now. Come on, power shot, power shot. Remember that side slip? Get down and squat. All right, you're on your own now. Quick reactions. Just a few tips to maximize your technique. Remember your full range, and then bend your knees every time. So when you're slipping, you're still bending your knees, so you're slipping and crunching. And when you're squatting, you still want to brace your abs, keep your hips square and your chest lifted. Power strikes, random strikes. Did you get them, uppercut? Now roll it in and under, change arm, back to your right and back to your left. But try and hit these hooks and imagine you're hitting a big heavy punch bag, yeah? Use all the power in your shoulders, your hip and your legs. Up, through the sky now. Turn the corner, drop out the way. 
Get out of the way! You're in the rhythm. I love it. M O V E S. And you certainly have some. Just remember to breathe out. Use your breath. Come on, breathe out. Breathe out. Breathe out. Breathe out. Big side step. Oh, turn your body. So that was about a quick reaction. So we're still working on your motor skills. Still throwing random tugs every now and then just to see what your reaction timing is like. I'm looking at your combo score right now, and you are doing amazing. And look at that total leaderboard score. Wow, come on, hold on. We're nearly at the end now. Finish really big, come on. Oh yeah, get out of the way. Hit it, hit it. Oh, perfect. You've been working on your technique, and that's what's getting you up there to 90%. Keep at it. You want your points to go up. Now you want to be force force as the target comes, bam, hit it really hard. Watch it explode, all right? Putting in the work in this next 10 minute workout. Start in your left combat stance. Bend your knees, put the controllers up high into boxing guard and elbows into your ribs. We're gonna be starting with a slow left jab. Here comes the target. Three more. Excellent, there's only two more now. Full range, soft elbow. One more. Okay, see the other target coming? It's a jab and a cross. Let's go, left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. We wanna hit them right down the middle. Let's release the shoulder, the hip, and the back heel on the cross. All right, now let's maximize speed. It's a jab, cross, jab, and freeze. Go, left, right, left, hold. Repeat that one. Boom, boom, boom. Did you get it? Oh, yeah, yeah, you got it. Because look at your score. Your score's already going up. And we want to maintain that score lifting up by hitting every single target. Here's something you can try. Try and hit the middle of the target with a little bit more force. Yeah, that should feel really great. New move, left uppercut and hold. Now the right, back to the left. Short range, vertical strike. We want now the controller to come up through the center line of the chest. Let's pick up the pace, let's go. One left, one right. Big rotation to the shoulders, forward. Some movement in the hips, some movement in the feet. Yeah, unwind, it feels good. Okay, catch your breath. We're gonna do it all again, but with the right foot forward. Let's go. Lead arm, lead jab, right side, hit it. And again, ready? Now, bang. You're gonna wait, 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 and then hit it right in the middle. Roll that knuckle over the top, squeeze the controller. We're gonna go jab and cross, right and left. Jab, cross, right, left. I see your shoulders dancing, baby. Let those shoulders roll, let's get the core in. We're gonna hit the triple shot. Right, left, right, bang. Three, two, one, go. Nice, and again. We say sit on the punch, that means bend your knees. Now wrap your hip around that cross. Feels good, doesn't it? Hip release brings power. Right in the middle of the target. That's where you wanna hit it. One more, just like that, let's go. Okay, vertical punch, uppercut. Right arm, 
Bam. Left arm. Right arm. Stick with that tempo. Rolling the shoulders. Picking up the tempo. Here it comes. A little quicker. Go. Rolling. Rolling. Driving. Bend your knees. Start to get in the swing of things. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Awesome. So let's move on. We've got a wide front stance. Let's hit a squat and then a left uppercut. So we go down, left, and then on the right. Yeah. Fairly quick squats, right? So try and get your butt down in line with the back of the knee. Chest up, abs brace. Hello, legs. Hello, glutes. Oh, my quads. I love the uppercut because it makes us stand up really tall, right? Now we're going to stay down. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Wait, wait, wait. And then stand up slow. That's what we call a finisher. How was that? Good? I said just shake your legs, shake your shoulders. Very, very cool. Power training is basic wide front stance. Everything is alternating this track. Heavy left hook now. Right side, downward strikes, uppercut left, downward strikes, uppercut right. Hit it again, left side. And right side, left, right, left. Right, left, right. Now you've got the timing. Let's just focus on precision. I love that beat. Ba, 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 two on the left. Alternate, two on the right. Do that again. Try and lean forward on the downward strikes. So you're staying in that wide front stance, but crunch and lean forward. Like you're doing ground and pound, yep. Strike downwards. Hit the shoulders, hit the back, hit the core, hit the legs. Now we're gonna speed things up. Quick squat, sky punch above your head, go. Power left hook, power right hook, downstairs. Left and right, squat. Stand up, left and right. Yes, excellent. Now try and rotate the knuckles forward on these punches. That's gonna take the elbow slightly to the outside. It's gonna work more muscles in the upper part of the shoulders. Come on, breathe out. Heavy strike, big rotation. Stay down, crunch abs, stand up. I like to stand up on that uppercut. It just forces the shoulder to rotate slightly forward. It brings the hip and the heels through the center line keeping the forearm in line with the center of the chest. Go. Boom. Oh, did you feel it? That should feel absolutely amazing. Hit it down, lean forward, up. Come on, now, now these ones. On those two center stand-up jabs, make these speed ones. So try and get a fast retraction. Quick punch, quick punch. I say quick retraction, really what I mean is you wanna bring your hands directly back to a high guard position. Tuck your chin in, stay focused. We're gonna get fast again. We're gonna get fast again. That squat wall's coming with a sky punch. Here it comes. Get out the way, stand up, power hooks. Downstairs, upstairs. Squat down, stand up. Excellent. Give it your everything now. It's with intention, it is with purpose, it is with focus. You've decided to do this fitness app because you wanted to work out and you wanted to enjoy yourself. Take the opportunity, nail it, go! How'd you do, how you feeling? Strong, ready to go again? All right then, let's go. Big right hook. Let's apply everything Dan's just taught us to the second half of this workout. So can you turn your body into those hooks? And can you feel the power coming out of the hip when you launch your uppercut? Launch it through that gap in the ceiling. Go, four, two jabs. So let's try go heavy on the downward punches and light and fast on the jabs. Pa, pa, that's it. Down, up. So lift your elbows, bend your knees, drive down into the ground, then get some fighting space. Yeah, you got it. And coming. We're going down, up, real fast. Throw it off your shoulders, throw it up. Boom, turn the hip, get low, punch through. No cheating on these squats, eh? Yeah, I, I can't see you, but I know, round about now, your legs are getting tired. It's that, it's that tired feeling that makes you wanna quit. 
But what you got to do is you got to fight through that tired feeling because I'm going to give you a breather right now. Ready? Okay, slow it down. Two hooks. Work the body. Well done. You got through. We're launching back with the uppercuts. Shake the legs off. Well done. Breathe. Inhale, exhale. Hey. Just like that, you made it through those hard, big squats. They suck the air out of you. That's what training's about. We're going to multiply the downward punches. Let's go for four. Let's go. Let's release some stress, peeps. Let's get some stress off your shoulders. We're busting moves. We're going to sit into the legs. We're going to lift the elbows. We're going to drive down and then punch from the hip. We're going to dab on it. We're going to dab through it. We're going to put our name on that dab. Back to the legs. You got this, people. Let's go. Hey. Call it the second win. Call it the winning streak. Whatever it is. Hey. Imagine throwing some weight off your shoulders when you double sky punch. Get it off you. Get it off you. Good job. I see blue target, I see the finish. Punched it. Boom. So close, so far. engagement is huge so we want to breathe out brace the abdominals imagine someone's getting hit in the belly what would you do you would tighten all right winter's coming and anything left standing turns to ice. So set course and fire up your fitness. Great, let's master some boxing moves, get really comfortable with rhythm changes, work on our timing and our power. Jab left, cross right. So purple's left, green is right, hit the center of the target. Already, let's speed it up. Let's go, jab, cross and jab. Now uppercut left, uppercut right. Repeat that. We've got multiple reps here just to feel comfortable. If you miss some targets, don't sweat it. We've got lots of opportunities to really get it right and get your heart rate up and to feel amazing. Hit the center of the target. Keep your hands up nice and high. And as you hit your uppercut, we want to drop, roll in and under. Let's change it up. Hook left and right. Now slip right and left. Let's repeat that. On the slips, you don't need to move your feet. All you do is move your upper body, just enough to get your shoulders and your head out of the way, but keep your hands up by your face. How's that feel? Squat down, just stay where you are. Stand up, double sky punch. Squat down, stay where you are. Chest up, let's go. Back to those boxing combos. Jab, cross and jab, uppercut left and right. Now hook left and right, slip right and left. Oh, oh, did you just master a combo, Hey. Let's see how many reps you can hit in a row without missing a target. That would be your new challenge from this point onwards. Hook. Move the shoulders. Now squat down, chest up, abs brace. Look over at the line of that shoulders, yes. It's okay, look up to the sky. Oh, look at that environment, that looks pretty cool. 
Oh, yeah, I'm loving the scenery. Feet nice and wide. Okay, battle rope slams, down. So you're in a partial range squat. Hands come to the outer part of the thigh, just introducing some new different types of strikes. How's that feel? Let's go back to the first combo, back to your left stance. Put your dukes up, hit the combo that you're now familiar with. Hook it. And slip it. Great. Already you're experiencing multiple strikes, different stances, different feelings, some core cool rhythm changes. Let's make it. Let's bring it. <laughs> it's okay. I'm bopping along with you. Whatever you do, I'll do. We're in it together. Start together. Train together. Finish together. Now, jab and cross. We've got 25 strikes. This is a great opportunity just to stay in it. Holding pattern. Lift your heart rate. Come on. One, 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 one. Hit it. Boom. Well done. All right, we're going to do it all on the right side. So put your right foot forward, right jab, left cross. Elbows tucked into the ribs. Time to turn up for yourself in today's workout. Let's go for the triple. One, two, three. Slow rolling uppercuts. Yeah, it ain't Monday, but it is time to go to work day. Get in that workout done. Get in the training in the bag. So how's it feeling on this side? Everyone's got a favorite side. All you gotta do is keep doing training both sides. Here they come the slips. Bend your knees, tuck your chin. Turn the hip, slam the hook. If you want a bit more power and a few more points, really slam the hip into the punch. That's my tip. All right, time to squat drop. Get low. Double punched. Hey! Knees out. Core on. Big combo. Jab, cross, jab. Slow uppers. Two hooks. And two dodges. Oi, missed it. Ale, ale. What am I now, Spanish? I don't know. Definitely not. But it sounds good. Make some noise, baby. Let's go. See what that is? That's quiet confidence. Here comes the squat. Get low. Double punch. How do you get more power out of that squat punch? Drive out of the legs. Bring the elbows close to the ribs. And tuck your chin in. Front stands. Battle rope slams outside of the thigh. Use the little fingers. Trust the targets there. Trust you're going to hit it. Hands above the head. Come down hard and heavy. Squeeze through the core. Exhale. Ah! Time to finish it. Yeah, right. Let's go. Let's go. Right foot forward. Jab, cross, jab. Go. Turn up for yourself today. You might miss a few. Keep turning up. You'll keep hitting more. Woo! As you turn it up, turn the hips into the punches. So when you do the uppercuts, bend the knees, roll the shoulders, up and under. Nice. You're turning your day up. Bring in the sunshine. You're so close to finishing. Hold up, people. Big breath. 25 punches. Ready? Go. Come on, turn up yourself. Turn that knuckle into the target. Smash time. Smash time. Woo. Yes. Get it done, baby. Big blue. Gotcha. Time for you to bring your best self, bring your power, bring your focus, bring your concentration. Start in a left combat stance, squat, get out the way, now. Stay down, chest up, brace your abs, stay, 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 quickly stand up, left jab, hit it. Now squat down, in a moment you're going to see the green target, stand up, now and cross. Great, now left to the head, left to the body, now left hook, same thing on the right side, so you've got a right cross. A right cross to the body and then a right hook to the head. So that's your level changes. We go up, straight punch down and hook. So naturally you want to do a hammer fist. Uh-uh. Stay with a straight arm jab to the body. Beautiful, because that's going to come at you even faster now, right? Up, 
down and turn your body. Go. When I say turn your body, I mean release the hip and heel on the hook. Now you've got it. We're going to focus on mainly the head and the body. Go. Up, down, change. Up and down, change. So now let's work on range. So full extension. Keep your hands up. Keep the elbows soft. And let's get some speed training. Heavy hook left. To the right. Ta ta ta. On the what? On the beat. On the ta ta ta. Go. Bring your best self. Tuck your chin. Elbows up. Uppercut. Three, two, and one. Freeze. Hit again. Three, two, and one. Freeze. Hit it again. Elbows close to your ribs. Rotate and roll the body forward. You're going to do the same thing, but you just add on a slip to your left. Go. Awesome. You don't move your stance. Stay with your feet still, but just tip your body to the left. Hello, obliques. One more time. Rachel, you're up. All right, catch that vibe, but let's put the right foot forward this time. Yeah. Combat stance. Right leg. Knee soft. We're going to get down into the leg. Squat. Stay. Go. Chest up. Knees out. Breathe in, breathe out. Stand up and jab. Boom. Sit down. It's going to be a cross this time. Big cross. All right, head body. Hook time. Ay. So we're back to a little bit of power. Throw the cross, throw the body, and now the big hook. How's that feel? There's a bit of space there. You've got time to load the lower body and turn it into the punch. So release the heel, turn the hip now. Now let's add a bit of pace to those combos. One, two, three. Is that beast mode? Hey, look, if you feel like you're in beast mode, you're in beast mode right now. All right, go, go, go. Just the head and buddy. Catch that combo. Stay on it. Drill it. Lift the elbow. Use the legs up and down. Use those levels. Big hook. Coming in. Right, left. Hey, double shots. So think about rotating the lower body to turn the hips into the punches. Here come the uppercuts, three uppercuts. Right, left, right. So think about rolling your shoulders like a figure of eight. It's almost like, you know, like you itch in between the shoulder blades. Now we're gonna add a slip to the right. Drop the shoulders, Hey, Ground your feet, bend your knees, and then move your upper body out of the way. So you're dodging those punches. One more uppercut, go. That felt good, catch that vibe. Let's go front stance, we've got one more bit to do. You can do this. Battle rope slam, double hand, right jab. Now this time, left jab. Bend your knees. So use your legs to get low and then drive out of the ground, squeezing your glutes to hit those jabs. They ain't shaky. They're ready to go. Let's have some pace. Pow. When they say punch from the hip, they mean use your lower body to drive the power out of the ground. Let's have some pace. Non-stop, go! Feels good to slam it down, doesn't it? That's it, use the outside of the fist, the little fingers. Bend your knees, lift your chest. Double punch, and again, from the chest. Singles, now look for the double hammers. That was good. Singles, and a big finishing blue target. Hit it, go! Eight. So close, just below 